Hello again, EMS. It is me, Mrs. Wagner, here to tell you about another one of the exciting career and college pathway options we have available to us at Glencoe High School. And today, we are going to be talking about early childhood education. So if you're interested in math, English, science, or really any subject, and you love the idea of learning about human development and working with little kids, then this Career and College Pathway program, this CCP, might be a great fit for you. So participating in this CCP will give you a head start on skills and knowledge that will prepare you for careers such as being a preschool teacher or a preschool director or a counselor or an elementary school teacher, speech and language therapist or pathologist, or a family resource manager, or so much more. So if you're interested in any careers that are centered around children and family development, then the experience and information that you gain through the Early Childhood Education CCP is going to be incredibly valuable and informative. So along with career specific information, you're gonna learn about some of the soft skills and character traits that are important to the field. For instance, for this pathway, things like identifying emotions and empathy are really important, right? So understanding how others are feeling and understanding how they express those feelings. Stress management is also really important. It can be hectic dealing with kids, so understanding how you manage your own stress is going to be crucial. Another important character trait is relationship building. How well can you relate to people? And then of course, problem solving and figuring out solutions to problems is important as well. So now that we've talked a little bit about careers and character traits, let's talk a bit more about what this looks like at Blanco High School. Let's talk about the Early Childhood Education CCP. So if you are part of this CCP, you will learn about human development from prenatal, so right while we're still in the womb, through eight years old. So what's going on as far as how young children experience, process and interact with the world? You're also going to get a chance to plan lessons and activities for the preschool. We have a preschool at Glencoe and this CCP gives you a chance to interact and observe the kids in the preschool. Pretty cool. You'll learn about early education and family studies. You'll get the chance to create a good problem solve with your peers in and out of the preschool classroom. You'll get to attend some on and off campus field trips and you'll also have the opportunity to take on a leadership role in the preschool. You'll get to be the teachers, you'll get to run the classroom, all pretty cool. So you might be thinking, okay, that sounds pretty fun, but what classes do I have to take to do this? Well, let me tell you. So Child Development 1 and 2 are both half year classes and you can take those your ninth or 10th grade year as a freshman or sophomore. In those classes, you'll learn about development from zero to three years old and then from three to six years old. And then Child Development 3 is a fill year class that you can take as a 10th or 11th grader. You'll spend most of your time in the preschool in this class and you'll take on a larger role in there. And then finally, Child Development 4 is where you're really taking on the lead planning and teaching role in the preschool. This is the capstone class for this CCP. Remember, capstone just means that that's the highest level class you can take for a CCP, and that's where you'll do your senior project. So as you can see, there are a bunch of opportunities to get hands-on experience working with preschoolers, planning lessons, and understanding early childhood development and education. So, okay, taking all these classes sounds like a lot of fun. What are my options after I graduate? There are a bunch of options. So if you wanted to go straight to work after high school, there are lots of opportunities to hop straight into the workforce as an educal, educational assistant or childcare worker. There are lots of preschools and childcare centers that only require a high school diploma for these positions. So you can go straight to work after high school. And if you'd like to take on a more involved role in preschooling, there are many certificate options and associate's degree programs that can help you do that. So these are those one to two year programs that give you the credentials that allow you to work more closely with certain age groups or take on a lead teaching position in preschools. If your plan is to go on to a four year university, you can get a bachelor's degree in a subject that prepares you for things like being a specialized childhood therapist, a licensed elementary school teacher or a school director or administrator. You can also pursue become being a social worker, family case manager through this route. 
You can also go on to earn a graduate degree if you'd like to become a teacher, a counselor, a childhood therapist, or any related profession that requires a master's degree. So getting your graduate degree is how you can become licensed in a lot of these fields. So there's a lot of options. And we also have a lot of local college options for pursuing those pathways. For instance, PCC has some really great associate's degree opportunities, as well as ways to earn some of those certifications that qualify you for higher paid and higher responsibility positions in early childhood education. Oregon State University, Portland State University, Southern Oregon and Western Oregon Universities all have Bachelor of Arts degrees and educational programs. And both OSU and PSU have bachelor degree programs that focus on children and family science. So pretty cool. So if you'd like to learn more about getting on this pathway, you can get in touch with Ms. Freed. She is the Early Childhood Education CCP Lead at Glencoe, and she is so excited to meet you all and fill the program with enthusiastic and excited students. And as always, you can get in touch with me by shooting me an email or coming to see me in the counseling office every Thursday. I cannot wait to chat more about this CCP and all of the CCPs we have available at Glencoe High School.